Today I'm going to show you how to point and shoot a projectile at an object. What's up guys? In this video we're going to rotate a turret to face the position of the mouse. And then when we press down on that mouse, we're going to fire a projectile in the direction that it is facing. It's rather simple to set up, so go ahead and open up Unity and let's get started. Currently I have a project set up with three sprites in an orthographic scene. One for our crosshair, which will follow our mouse movement. Another for our turret, which will rotate to point towards the mouse. And lastly, a projectile, which will be fired from the turret in the direction of our mouse. All of the code used in this video can be copied and pasted from our website, or if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can download this entire project from the Patreon portal. Okay, let's begin. The first thing we want to do is create a new c -sharp script called Point and Shoot. Then go ahead and drag it onto our camera and open it up in the editor. The first thing we want to do is create a private vector 3 called target to store our target position which in this case happens to be our mouse position. Then in our update function we need to define this target by writing target equals input that mouse position. But in order for this to work properly we need to convert the mouse position from screen space to world space. We can do this easily by using screen to world point. Oftentimes this is written as camera.main.screen to world point but this errors out for people who don't have a main camera defined. Since this script is located on our main camera, we can use get component camera. So let's write transform .get component camera dot screen to world point, and in parentheses write new vector three, and for the first parameter write input dot mouse position dot x, then input dot mouse position dot y, and for the last parameter we're going to set it to the camera z position. So let's write transform dot position dot z. Okay, now that we have the location of our mouse in world space, let's assign the position of our crosshairs to this position. So back at the top, let's write public game object crosshairs. Then underneath our target script, let's write crosshairs.transform.position equals target. Although when writing this script, I realized that we don't want to alter the Z position of our crosshair. So let's instead write new vector two and let's assign the X and Y value to equal target.x and target.y. Then back in Unity, let's drag our crosshairs into the inspector and press play. We should then see our crosshairs move with the mouse. Notice how the mouse cursor is still on the screen. That looks bad, so let's hide the cursor from the screen with a simple line of code. Back in our start function, write cursor.visible equals false. Now when we press play, our cursor is hidden from view and we only see our crosshairs. Perfect. Next we need to rotate our turret to face the direction of our crosshairs. This next part is a little complicated because it uses trigonometry to calculate angles on a Euclidean plane. I'll go ahead and include links below for more information on this, but for now just follow along as I do. The first thing we need to do is create a reference for our turret object. Up at the top, let's write public game object, and let's just call this player. Then back in our update function, we need to calculate the difference between the position of our mouse and the position of our turret. So let's write vector3 difference equals target minus player dot transform dot position. Then we need to calculate our Z rotation in radians. So let's write float rotation Z equals math F dot a ton to then write difference dot Y for the first parameter and difference dot X for the second parameter and then close the parentheses. Then lastly to convert our radians into degrees we must multiply by math F dot radians to degrees. Then all we have to do is set the Z rotation for our turret equal to the value of rotation Z. In order to do that, we need to write player.transform.rotation equals quaternion.euler and in parentheses set the first two parameters to zero and for the third parameter put rotation z. Quaternion.euler basically allows us to rotate to a certain degree value in which in this case is defined as rotation z. Then if we assign our player value in the inspector to our turret game object and press play, we should see our object rotating based on the movement of the mouse. Right off the bat, this looks a little weird. It's because we want our turret to rotate around its base circle, which isn't in the middle of the game object. We can fix this easily by creating a parent by right clicking and selecting create empty. Simply zero off the position and drag and drop our turret inside this parent object. Again, zero off the position of this object. Now let's slightly move the position of our turret so the center point is positioned in the center of our turret base. Then we just need to drag our parent object to replace the player reference we currently have. Now if we press play, we should see the turret rotating properly. 
Okay, now all that is left to do is fire a projectile after we click our mouse. The first step for that is creating a projectile prefab so we can clone it onto the screen. So let's drag our projectile sprite on the screen and assign our rigid body 2D to the object. The only thing we want to do here is set the drag and gravity to zero. Then drag the object back into the project window to create a prefab of it. Once we do that, we can delete it from the scene. Next, back in our script, create two references at the top. The first will be a public game object called bullet prefab. This will hold our projectile prefab we just created. The next is a public float for bullet speed. Let's set the default for this to 60. Then in our update function, let's create an if statement to check when the mouse button is pressed down by writing input.getMouseButton down and put zero in parentheses to indicate the left mouse trigger. In this if statement, we will execute a function to fire our bullet. So let's create a new function called fireBullet and we want to create two parameters for it. The first is a vector2 called direction and the second is a float called rotation z. Then we want to clone our bullet prefab onto the scene by writing game object b equals instantiate and put bullet prefab in parentheses. Then lastly set it as a game object. This creates a clone of our projectile onto the scene and we can then alter it using the letter b as a reference. So the first thing we want to do is set the position of the projectile to equal the turret position. We do this by writing b.transform.position equals player.transform.position. Then we want to also rotate the projectile so it's pointing towards the target. We can do this the same way we rotated our turret by writing b.transform.rotation equals quarterion.euler and put rotation z in the z parameter. Then lastly we want to set the velocity of our projectile equal to the direction our turret is facing. We can do this by writing b.getComponent rigidbody2d.velocity equals direction times bullet speed. Our goal is to define direction on an x and y axis with value between negative 1 and positive 1. This way we can then multiply it by bullet speed to change the speed of the movement without affecting the direction. So the only thing left to do is calculate our direction and execute our fire bullet function. So back up top, we already calculated the distance between our turret and target. We just need to convert this value into a float called distance by writing difference.magnitude. Then in order to get our direction, we just write vector2 direction equals difference divided by distance. The last step is to normalize this direction so it always has the magnitude of 1 by writing direction.normalize. Then let's pass it into our function by writing fire bullet and in parentheses putting direction. For our second parameter, put rotation z, which we already calculated above. Then simply drag our bullet prefab into the inspector and press play. As you may have noticed, this works as intended, but if we move our mouse after we shoot, the bullet appears to be shooting outside of the turret. But we can fix this pretty easily. In our turret's parent object, let's create an empty object. We will give it a red label so we can easily see it, and let's just label this bullet start. Then let's position this object in the position just inside of our turret. Then back in our script, let's create a reference for this by writing public game object, bullet start, and then down below in our fire bullet function, Let's change b.transform.position to equal bullet start.transform.position. And then back in Unity, just drag our empty object into the inspector and press play. And there you have it. You can now fire projectiles in the direction of your mouse position. To copy and paste source code in this video, visit our website, pressstart.vip, where we've also included modifications to the script to work with a perspective camera. And lastly, if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and joining our Patreon. Any support you provide allows us to make more great content for others to enjoy.